wide receivers, and they're all strung out of the right, just about. Third down. White is in trouble. Elois Grooms was the last man to get to him, but Mike Dawson was there as well. Set an NFL record for return yardage. Short punt. Penalty marker is down. We have a penalty marker down. Fair catch is called for and a fumble. But there was a penalty flag down. St. Louis recovered the uh, fumble. But let's say... Like to see what the flag is. Well, and Monty Hunter in there with the pass defense as the linebackers come out at third and seven at the 41. Out of the shotgun, Lomax has time, can't find a receiver. He runs for it, first down. to the top. Quick toss to Tiller. He's got good moves, but he's double teamed and Thurman and Bruni combined to make the stop. And left tackle for Dallas. Third and three here. Low snap and Lomax pass is through Pat Tilly. It'll be fourth now. 40-yard attempt. Worley is holding for O'Donoghue and this kick is off to the right. No good. 40-yard field goal is missed by O'Donoghue. So we have a timeout, 6.43 remaining in the first quarter. Still no score between the moves in motion. White up the middle. Puck. And a first down. Tony Hill, who's the most improved player, said Tom Landry this year at preseason. Dorsett. Lee Nelson makes the stop. Dorsett trying to go off the side. And right now, Brent Musburger has an update. Boys effective on third down plays. And a blitz for the Cardinal. White gets free. Going deep for Butch Johnson. He had him. He had beaten Ken Green, and he couldn't hold on to it. As Danny White was going for the downs on that one. The in motion wide for the Cardinals. Back to throw, and here comes John Dutton. And down goes the Aloma. At the 45-yard line, a loss of about 12 as the two tackles, Dutton and Randy White, came up the middle and Neal didn't have a chance. He White fake a run and throw at the springs in the flat before this game's over, and he's going to be wide open. That was Tony Hill, short of a first down at the 30-yard line. Jeff Griffin at the 30. White has time up the middle of Dorsett, hit immediately, and they're close to a first down. They are very close right at the sticks. Charlie Baker, who is the hardest hitting linebacker for the Cardinals, was right there to get TD. 37. White, quick throw. Tony Hill. Tony Hill, first down, Dallas. Short of midfield, and E.J. Jr., the fine-looking linebacker, makes the stop. Tony Hill. Motion comes through Pearson. Play action, and he has time again. Goes outside to Billy Joe Dupree. His tight end for short yardage. Actually about two yards. He gets into St. Louis territory at the 49. E.J. Jr. again makes the stop. Backing up. Screen to Ron Springs, who has blockers ahead of him. And all of a sudden, they disintegrate. And Carl Allen cuts through the blockers to make the tackle on spring, short of a first down. And that one developed as if we were going to get big yard. Dick Stockton and Roger Staubach here in St. Louis. In motion, Tony Hill. Pressure on third down. The pass is complete to Drew Pearson. First down, Dallas inside the 35. Middle linebacker Dave Ahrens makes the stop. And there's the ammunition they have. So many weapons. First and ten. Cowboys driving. Screen play to Tony Hill. And what a play by Carl Allen, the right cornerback, who has made two fine tackles in this drive, and he just stopped a possible big gainer. Annie White is 10 of 14 for 80 yards, but no points on the board for either club here in the first half. Pressure on White. He gets by two men. He's going for Cosby deep. Cosby has a touchdown, Dallas. What a play by a fine receiver, and Danny White made it happen. It looked like he was going to...
going to be thrown for a big loss by Curtis Graham. Here's how it happened. Well, this is why Floyd Peters has lost some hair right here, because everything was covered. He did a good job. The initial rush. There's Curtis Greer. He misses the tackle right here, and it almost could have been ruled dead, but it wasn't. White scrambled to the right. Watch Cosby's concentration. Number 84 coming in your screen. The big guy, the big tight end, looks that ball in, and of course, Griffin's there. Great play by Cosby. Good throw by White. 29-yard touchdown. Football League's prohibited. Third and 13. At the 13, and here come the Cowboys. Lomax steps up in the pocket and hits his man. First down, Roy Green was not hit and picks up and goes down to the 41, and now they'll bring it back. It'll be a first down in any event, and a good play by Roy Green, getting the Cardinals out of danger. Here, now a wide receiver. First and 10 at the 33. Lomax steps up, and this time he hits his tight end, Doug Marsh. Another first down at midfield. Now they had to call the timeout now. He had to call the timeout because it's a long play downfield, and get into that two-minute offense. They well, let's get out of bounds if we go to the sidelines. Lomax, first and 10 at midfield, hits Roy Green. Green gets a step. He's off to the 30. Roy Green is now out of bounds at the 17-yard line. A big play. Play like that. Lomax gets the ball out to the sideline. There's the blitz. Everybody's coming. He throws it. Green makes a good move, and Everson Walls right here gets downfield. And about this time, your offensive linemen are walking down the, they're running down the field, and they're all looking back to see if there's with there was a penalty. No penalties. Good play. Roy Green began last year as a nickel Here's back. A, the stutter step move again. We get to see it again. First and ten at the 17. 58 seconds to go. Running play off the shotgun, and O.J. Anderson gets inside the ten. Use that timeout. Much. Third and one at the eight. In motion is Mark. Anderson has the first down. Penalty marker down with 37 seconds on the clock. Number 78, defense. John Duck. First down. Cardinals. Up the middle. Touchdown. middle to Roy Green got him got him started and Pat Tilly finished it off master of the moves he got open Pat Tilly well, Lomax that'll give him some confidence he did an excellent job in this drive and again the shotgun's unusual down at the five yard line but they go for it and they have a little play over the middle a couple receivers open uh, Marsh was open behind Tilly but Tilly watch Tilly Here's Tilly, number 83, makes a little move to the inside. Now watch him stop, break back to the outside, gets Clink scale, confused, and there he is wide open. And, of course, you got to give uh, Lomax credit. A lot of people running around there, and he found the open receiver. 7-7 oh, seven, seven to score. White finds Butch Johnson this time, and a first down at the 48-yard line. And immediately the Cowboys call timeout. Tim Collier makes the stop. Danny White is now... 13 for 20 on the afternoon. White going for Tony Hill. He has it inside the 30 and nearly the 25-yard line. Seven seconds to go, and the Dallas Cowboys have called a timeout with seven seconds to go, and here comes Seth the end to try to give Dallas the lead. Well, partially blocked. No good, it's short. Second and 11 at the 26. Lomax has Anderson. And Terry Steve with an outstanding block, and O.J. Anderson is close to a first down. For an Eddie McGill on the 37. And look how tight they are. Marsh in motion. Anderson. It's close, but I think he has it. Already. No chance. No chance. Michael Downs on the safety blitz. And Lomax couldn't even get his arm up. Six is in as a pass rusher at second and 17. And Lomax out of the pocket looking for Marsh, the tight end. He has it. First down, St. Louis in Dallas territory. Michael Downs knocks him out of bounds. One-yard play at the 47 of Dallas. Wayne Morris up the middle and close to a first down. Is one. Going up top, and it's intercepted. Penalty marker down. Ew. Benny Barnes intercepts for the Cowboys. Barnes back to the 25-yard line. Still going, and he's finally hit at the 
35. There's a flag in the middle of that. Uh, as we said, there's a penalty marker, and it was behind, and several of them down. And have thrown that football. Center, second and six. Lomax has time, and Anderson has it, but he can't get away from Dickerson. And if he had, he would have rumbled close to that goal line. Cowboys had enough quarterbacks, I think. Third and two at the 25. Anderson does not make it, I don't believe. Trying to go off the right side, and Ed Jones. We haven't had his name mentioned much today. All right, I'd go for it. Three tight ends. And Lomax looking to throw. And he's going to be called for intentionally grounding. Harvey Martin went after him, and Lomax did not have a receiver. He threw the ball away to avoid the sack, and that just explodes as Martin takes a shot at Lomax. Martin and Lomax going at it, and that breaks up. Lomax doesn't want any part of that. Position. Intentional grounding, number 15, offense, loss of down, first down, Dallas, timeout. That says it all. Here it is again. Missed the handoff. He's supposed to go to Morris. He missed the handoff, and now there's no receivers. It's a running play, of course. There's not much he can do. He tries to get around Mark. Mark does a good job. He does. Draw set. Nothing. Great pursuit by Russ Brown, number 69, the right tackle. The whistle had blown, and, and Charlie Baker coming in as well. In motion, Butch Johnson. Cardinal defense has been superb. Pressure on Danny White. Mike Dawson, and in lowest room. In motion, Doug Cosby. Quick burst up the middle, Tony Dorsett close to the 30-yard line, but it has not been a day for the running backs, the supreme running backs in the game, Anderson and Dorsett, that's what they've done the last three years, well over a thousand yards, Dorsett was second to George Rogers, but as far as today's action is concerned, that's it. It was the longest run of the day for Dorsett, nine yards, at least adequate, maybe better than that. Dorsett, looking for rolling room. Runs right past Lee Nelson and picks up close to eight yards on the play. Dorsett is really going stronger here at the five remaining third quarter. 7-7 seven, seven to score. Dorsett has a first down up the middle, close to midfield. And Lee Nelson makes the shoot top tackle on Dorsett. And what you just said, Rogers, bearing out, that's exactly what the Cowboys are doing. First and ten. Cowboys on 48 with 343 to go. Swing pass out to Tony. Tony to midfield. And Dorsett is hit in the St. Louis territory. At the 49-yard line by both Jeff Griffin and the middle linebacker Dave Aaron. So Dorsett is the man of the moment on this drive for Dallas. Jeff. Going for Tony Hill, first down at the 40-yard line. Just a simple square out pattern. How do you defend against this? This not before. Tony did not break it out quick enough on man-to-man -man coverage. White overthrew it. This time it was timing. Good move. Looking for the swing pass, going the other way to Springs. Springs gets a good block from Howard Richards. And Ron Springs is inside the 20 and the 10-yard line, out of bounds. Ron Springs. Looks out the door, set pumps out there, but look at the lineman out there. Number 70 is out there. Rafferty, number 64 is out there. Good blocking at the point of attack by the lineman. Rafferty gets his block. Springs is down the sideline. Of course, there's Carl Allen, the last man, forces him a little bit to the outside. And... Jeff Griffin comes over and cleans up. Big play for the Cowboys. Last year. So he's been used out of the backfield. And here is an end around to Billy Joe Dupree, who is in for the touchdown. Good first down play. And off the eye formation, little fake here and there, both the Springs and Dorsett. And those linebackers were caught inside. Good block to the outside by Tony Hill, number 80. And Dupree's going to spike the ball. March the tight end in motion. Complete to Roy Green. Dennis Thurman hits him immediately. Picks up about eight yards on the play. Two tight ends, second and two at the 34. LaFleur joins March. Anderson up for a loss by Anthony Dickerson. One minute to play in the third period. Third and three at the 33. Lomax trying to keep the drive going. He's hit. 
and it's intercepted. Everson Walls. And a fumble. Cowboys pick it up, and it's anybody's ball. Benny Barnes picked it up, and Lomax is hurt. In the recent years, this is the last play of the quarter, and Ron Springs gets to the 24-yard line, and that is the end of the third quarter. What a pass there. Drew Pearson. Pass. Drew Pearson, the touchdown. The all-time Cowboy receiving leader. Went from an unknown free agent to start him in this game. And he beat Jeff Griffin to the corner of the end zone. And the Cowboys lead it 20-7. to Correction on game. Drew Pearson. Top of the screen. Right here he runs by him. And Griffin... Really doesn't look back until the receiver does. Right now, Drew's looking back. Griffin looks back a little bit late, loses the ball right here, but it's perfectly thrown. And a picture play. To go 90 yards. First down, has some time up the middle, and it is caught. Roy Green, I believe, with a superb catch. In motion, Roy Green. You see the pass. Lomax looking to throw. Out of the pocket. In trouble. away forever. 16. Lomax up the middle. Pat Tilly trying to get away. And he stops short of the sticks. Everson Walls makes the tackle. They need a big game to get back to the Super Bowl. And here's a fake. And Earl, or is it Roy Green, is short of a first down. Roy Green took the snap. Angelo King wow. came up to make the play that did not work. And the Dallas Cowboys, Danny Spradlin, number 55, a hard hitter from Tennessee, alertly stopped Roy Green and motion Doug Cosby. Pits to Dorsett. Dorsett runs over two Cardinals and gets to the 30. I believe he has a first down or close to it. Big plays are not so much at the point of attack, but when he cuts back or veers in some direction. Second and 10 at the 29 yard line. Dorsett off the right side has Kirk Peterson blocking for him and Tony Dorsett gets inside the 20 yard line and inside the 15 a first down Dave Ahrens makes the stop and Dorsett looking his finest of the day on that run in motion puts Johnson rolling out penalty marker down and Danny White drills it and another flag is down so we have two penalty markers thrown at the 7 yard line Danny White looking to the end zone, incomplete, the pass intended for Butch Johnson, and Lee Nelson defending on the play, it'll be fourth down. What's him? Raphael has missed one from 44 yards, this one is perfect. Raphael set the end, 25-yard field goal, and the Cowboys now lead at 24-7. to seven called for that illegal procedure penalty. Second and eight at the 22. 540 to go. And here is Robert Newhouse seeing his first action and he gets close to the 30-yard line. Third and one. Two tight ends. First down. Newhouse. 24 to 7 Dallas on the draw play. Newhouse getting some work. And Dave Aaron's got him from behind the middle linebacker. Cosby in motion. Tony Dorsett needs four yards for 100 on the day. Won't get it here as he stopped just short of the 40-yard line. Drew Pearson in motion. Going deep for Tony Hill. And Hill makes the catch inside the 30-yard line. Carl Allen defending. And Allen claims it was dropped, but it wasn't. And Hill has a first down on a big catch. The ball in the money, so it's been a combination. Not so much poor defense, but... Here again, White's throwing it down the middle, letting the ball get up there. Let Hill run under it, and then he makes that last lurch right there with the ball as high as it was. Good arc on the ball by Danny White that uh, caused Hill to have a chance to catch the football. Find themselves losing 24-7 to the Dallas Cowboys, headed for a one-and-one -one record. We have our two-minute warning. And they're on the St. Louis 29-yard line. Danny White going up top, and it's intercepted by Carl Allen at the seven-yard line. Pressure, Lomax finds Anderson who has it and he's out of bounds at the 17-yard line. 
It's third and one, 17 yard line, and O.J. Anderson goes outside and turns forward to the 25. He got off the plane, was on the bus, left his hat on there. <laughs> Fortunately, he found it. Third and 10, and Lomax just gets rid of it to Pat Tilly. Look at Tilly, he's still going. For him. Now, I've got to be an objective reporter being a former Cowboy, but there's of course, something special when I see the Cowboys play. I try to re report objectively. But Tom Landry, you look at his his past 16 or 17 years, and it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. He's been very consistent. I think consistency is important in a season, and of course in a coaching career, he's just been the most consistent coach he's probably ever coached in professional football when you look at it year in and year out for as many years. First and 10 at the 36 with 35 seconds to go. The Cowboys will be one and one after this game, and so will the Cardinals. This pass to Roy Green is caught at the 40, and here comes Green to the 30-yard line. And I'll tell you, it may be the last minute of the game, but no one is saying that this one is history. Yeah, the way that shows that play right there. Of course, Roy Green's had a tremendous day, 10 catches today, but that shows Lomax's ability. He put that ball on a string, but not enough of it. 10 catches, 170 yards for Roy Green, and this game ends in suitable fashion here. As Louis Sharp picks up the ball, and the game is over. Uh, Lomax is laying down, Dick. I hope uh, he's all right. He got popped in the back, and Larry Bethay hit him, and Lomax is shaken up. The game is over. The Cowboys have won. Dallas will go to Minnesota to play the Vikings if there is indeed football next weekend, and the Cardinals will visit Washington to face the Redskins. Tom Landry, victorious coach. 24-7, the final score. For Roger Staubach, this is Dick Stockton saying so long from Bush Memorial Stadium. Once again, the final score, the Cowboys 27, the Cardinals 7. Don't